Wednesday night fights in Colorado Springs. Still to come tonight, our main event, Neil Sinclair, Jerome Ellis, two action fighters meeting up here in a 10-round main event. Next up, a chance to see an undefeated prospect who a lot of folks out here in Colorado are very excited about. That is Marvin Cordova Jr. He takes on Darrell Sucaro. There is Marvin Cordova Jr. He is 10-0. Six knockouts, only 21 years old, checked in at 5'9 and a half pound under that welterweight limit. He has fought for a pro two years, recently got in some very good training at the top ranked gym in Las Vegas. And he comes in here tonight looking to oppress not only the local fans, but a national TV audience as he makes his debut on TV. And there is Darrell Sucaro. He is from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. 30 years old, nine years older than his opponent. He's an inch shorter and came in at 148 and a half. And he has a record of 13, 14, and one. So he's looking to even things up here tonight. But this is really an uphill battle against the prospects. Well, if the hill is not tall enough, Sucaro took this fight literally on two days notice time i play by the rules of boxing and you'll have no play with me you want clean punching clean breaks a good clean fight protect yourself at all times obey my commands at all times any questions down marvin no, let's touch sure. gloves come out at the bell Look, man. i like that little pre-fight chat with ed walsh the referee they are scheduled for six cordova jr against sukaro as i said sukaro took this fight on monday the good news is he only fought a week ago. The bad news is nine and a half pounds more than his last fight a week ago. So I dare to say that Subaru was not in the gym since his fight one week ago. He was not doing the things you'd want to do before you go into a fight, being nine and a half pounds more than he was in his last fight. It was 139. Well, on top of that, Joe, he had to lose three pounds at the weigh-in yesterday, Super Bowl, which you can't be shocked by getting the call on two days' notice. So really, if you add in those three pounds that he had to take off, he was 12 and a half pounds more than the last time he got in the ring one week ago. To the fast hands by Marvin Cordova Jr. He is in the gold trunks with the sparkling red trim, and he just landed a left hand. So far in the career, Cordova, 10 and 0, as you said, he's been in soft. Looks like he is again. Most of his fights here in Colorado. Subaru has lost three of his last five. Let me see your head. Let me see it. Cool. Let me see your head. Taking a look after Flash Ed Walsh, the referee. You saw moments ago that. Cordova Jr. switches from orthodox to southpaw. He is a natural right-handed, and he usually boxes in that orthodox stance. But he does like to mix it up, and he did it within the first minute and a half. Tries to get an edge, tries to confuse his opponent a little bit. Going to both sides of the plate. Cordova has been the bigger man lately. Well to wait his last two fights. At only 21 years of age, you figure he's still filling out. Sugaro lately has been a junior welterweight his last four fights. A lot of edges to the local undefeated Cordova. Snaps out that jab, Cordova. One thing jumps Triples out at you. The quick hands you said of Cordova using the white gloves but not a lot of pop on those quick hands. He worked from the left hand of Supero, and he gets dropped. I'd still say not a lot of pop on those hands of Cordova, but he's doing it against the chin. And Supero that has been knocked out three times and is about to become four. And Supero not making a big effort to guard up. And I don't want to be in his body or in his mind, but you could argue that he got off just slow enough to make sure that the referee 
said no more. We already said Sugaro took this fight on two days' notice. Came in 12 and a half pounds more than he was a week ago when he fought. So Sugaro has not been in the places that you want a fighter to be in to get ready to go do combat. And he did not behave like one. Well, let's look back at the knockdown that became the knockout to win this fight for Marvin Cordova Jr. Take a couple looks. Quick hands of Cordova, as you said, Joe. Right hand there. I'm going to say what I said earlier. Yeah, I agree, Ted. I don't think Cordova a big puncher. And I don't think it took much of a punch to convince Sugaro to deposit himself on the floor. Once again, right hand as Sugaro lays on the right side, and he just sort of flopped to the floor. And then he made sure he took him his time getting up. Time that convinced the referee to say no more. Fast starts here in Colorado Springs. Daryl Sucaro knocked out in the first round by Marvin Cordova Jr. So now Marvin Cordova Jr. joins Leonard Doreen, a former world champion, Dimitri Salida, a prospect soon to be contender, as fighters who have taken out Darrell Sucaro. Sucaro had come into this fight having lost three of his last five, now four of his last six. For the official particulars, we sent it up to the ring to Wally Cotton. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by way of TKO at two minutes and 26 seconds of the first round and still undefeated, Marvin, much too much, Cordova. Pueblo, Colorado's 21-year-old Marvin Cordova Jr. He is now 11-0 with seven knockouts. Get rid of Darrell Sucaro early here on Wednesday Night Fights. When we come back, Teddy's thoughts on Manny Pacquiao against Oscar Larios this past weekend.